Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and I'm, today I am giving you a lecture on matrix in SSRS or RDLC. Uh, basically in today's topic I will be covering four main part. One is create a matrix, that is very simple. Now second will be the validation of data. Now what this uh, by this mean, I mean is uh, most of the people think matrix is little complex. The thing is it is not complex. The problem is they are not able to validate whether the data is suitable for matrix or not. So, I will be telling you how you can validate the data, whether it is suitable for matrix or not. Now, after validation, if it is suitable, then you can use directly, but if it is not suitable, then you have to go for this third step, that is transforming data uh, in the format which is suitable for matrix. Okay, I will be telling you how you can transform the data. After this, I will be telling you how to you can completely transform your uh, complete table into a matrix. Okay, so for all of this rule, basically matrix, uh, you have to remember one rule, like everything should be data or value. So just remember it for now when we will come on validation and transforming you will be clear with this rule okay so now starting with the creation of metrics basically i have prepared few tables that is one of my property table mm, i just created in the northwind database so it is not the part of northwind i just created in that database so uh, here i have this uh, table with five columns on a uh, on a name type year month and then some date and then the count okay suppose the Tom is having a hotel in 2014 August and the count is one and further on the person is having uh, like suppose Jerry is having uh, apartment in 2015 and one as a count so this is how it we will go with okay now uh, for creating this output in the matrix uh, everything we have in the proper format okay now if I go with the report uh, this will be the report format I want honor name then type then year as a row header then I want month as a column header like for October November December so there will be three columns for like suppose uh, Tom is having something in August so he will add one more column for August and August and suppose he has one more property in this one so this will be the record so what I want is I want to convert this value of this month column to be the column header okay so when it comes to dynamic columns like suppose four months will come it will generate four columns then you, uh, the five months will come then it will generate five columns so whenever this is the requirement you can notice like this is this uh, there is a requirement of matrix so this is where we are we want to use this matrix okay now coming toward my report okay i have this query i can use this query directly in my matrix what i will go with i will create a data source like i will say property and I will just copy it here and add my report. Okay, now I will just add my data set here. I will choose this property data set, our shortcut. Now coming to the metrics. Now here, as I told you, I want few column header. Uh, the column header will come from the month column. The value will come from the count. I want to just sum them up and then I want year. Okay, if I look my output, this is what I am expecting. Now the thing is I need honor as well as type. So when it comes to multiple column as a row header, then there is a simple thing you have to remember. After adding one column into the row header, you have to add row groups. So I am adding my type as a parent. Then I am adding my honor as an parent of this one so I can just change this to type if I go here and go for the preview now it comes like Tom has apartment in 2015 and in October month 1 and Tom has hotel in 2013 and 14 in 13 it ha he has two uh, in August he has two uh, hotels and in 2014 he has one hotel so this is how my data is getting converted into the matrix and the column hydro are August October September okay these are the month name okay one thing you will notice the month are not in the proper order because August come October uh, before October that is fine but September curve before October it is not fine if it is coming after the October now for this we have a little trick which you have to make okay now here I have this one I have added okay oh, sorry let me do it. so order by order by month month column plus I will just convert this month into the date 
with any year whatever you like and then I will just it order according to this one so now here you see my September is coming before October now for doing this on the report I need this one as an one column value also I will lay month order month value I can take it as month value okay now if I will run this query okay now what I will do is I will just copy this one into my data set sometimes data set act weird they don't refresh easily let's see if they refresh let me go into the query designer if I can run this yes I got this output no I want to save this man okay 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 now I have this query let me see if I am able to refresh my data set let me delete my data set add it again property if I go into the fields I have this month value I will now as I told you now it will not directly use this column so what I need to do is for the column group I will go into the sorting and instead of sorting it by month I will sort it by month value now if I have preview now so my months are in proper order so this is how you transform any data okay so it totally depends upon you like how you have to transform the data so for the metrics this is how we build the metrics so if you will notice everything is coming out of the values the name Tom even the type even the year even the month are coming out of the value and even whatever we are summing is coming out of the value now in the second case as I told you we will be validating data whether it is suitable for metrics or not okay for this one this rule come into the play okay now for this example I have built a table which is sorry which is metrics uh, expenses table okay now in this table I have this uh, this data okay in this what I have I have category like for food in month one I spent this much or for the month two I spent this much and for the month three I spent this much, and in whole quarter I spent this much so just don't be uh, just compare the values whether that quarter total is matching up with these and all so just for the sake of the example I'm using it and for the second category I spent in 2000 uh, like for the month one 251 then two, for month two 267 then for month three I spent 50 and then for quarter I spent 371 dollars okay so this is how I'm categorizing my data so for this to have in the metrics what I am expecting is I will get month like this column name month one month two month three and quarter as a row header okay now after this I want my categories to be the column header like food medicine travel entertainment borrow and donation and the values will come here so for the food for month one I have 1602 there I am having for month 1602 for month two I am having 1634 for month two I am having 1634 so, uh, 1634. so I am categorizing data column uh, like vertically instead of horizontally so you see you have complete data which you require for your report but it is not in the appropriate format the reason is here the row headers are column name so there is no way SSRS will pull these column name whenever you will select the column it will select the, it will pull the values so for this report what you need to do is you have to transform the data so how you will transform here I will use be, I will be using the cross apply okay let me select the database ex let me run my query if this is fine yes it is fine now coming to the cross apply just bear with uh, me <laughs> let me type the query first okay I'll save my few keystrokes category is fine QT amount month so for this I will be using two three And here I will be using three columns title, values, and the category. 
okay if I go with t dot star so my output of the query is everything will convert into the columns so what I did is if you will see the both output together okay so for month one my value for food is 1602 for food uh, for month two for my category this food my value is 1634 for month three for my food value I am the having the value 1444 and so on so what I did is I divided each record into four records the reason behind this I want every value to be in one column for the matrix this is the condition okay for everything I want in one column so for that I did the cross apply the cross apply this the way I used is not generally used so this is a different way of using the cross apply like joining it by itself like applying it in the same table on itself to get the output so what my thing is I want everything in the uh, value format so even my column names are converted into values for this title column so for this one I have uh, basically for the column 2 I am for the food I am having 1634 so here you see the column 2 is also in value okay let me convert the case otherwise they will not look fine on and okay now I can use this now as I told you and now everything is in the value format I can use directly this one for the matrix so here I will create one more data set mm, you can say expense I go for ok let me add one more report sorry I have lower down my resolution so that's why I have to go and again and again for resizing now here I will select my title here my categories are the column header now values are this so here is your output like for month one if I go into the food category for month one one two three four and quarter I, if I compare these values with these values these are the exactly the same values which I am able to see on my report okay let me okay so for month one I have 1602 for month two I have 1634 and so on so here my categories have become the columns and my month have also become the column so I can change the title here as category so that it should look fine now if I will go with this one this approach here you can see my everything is as per the metrics which I require so here the data as I told you was not in the appropriate format which is suitable for the metrics for that what I need to do is I have to convert that data into this one so the f rule for converting the data is everything which you want to represent on the metrics should be the value okay so here we have covered these two examples now the third example the transforming complete table basically this was a question raised by some uh, one of my subscriber and they have a requirement they want to completely transform the data uh, completely transform the table on the basis of id will be the column header okay so this was their case so for this one we will be using cross apply again okay so let me show you my table which table we will be acting on that is hmm, I think property region okay table to transform this is one table so here what they want is this uh, we have three columns ID data 1 data 2 what they want is they want to convert ID data 1 data 2 as row header and then the value as a column header so as I told you here everything the values are coming in two different formats so here also we need to go with the transformation of data so if I have to transform just remember that rule that is everything should be data if I run my query and uh, let me give this df name cross apply it is not always like you just need the cross apply to transform you can use anything for transformation but here the suitable operator is uh, suitable function is cross apply so I will be using this one values as I told you I need column name as also the values because I want to create column header out of them data one I will be saving few keystrokes 
two, two, and I will be doing title and value and t dot and tr dot star tf dot star. Mm, sorry, ID. I need ID out of it. So if I'll run my query, I got this output. So ID is also in the values which I from which I want to generate the column header. The values are also in the values from the two columns. I got them into one column and also I distinguish them through the title. That is, this is the value of data one for ID one and so on. So I can use directly this one into my data set. If I go here, I will create one more report. The metrics again. They said, oh, sorry, I just forgot to rename. Pardon. Now I want to convert title. I want to have column uh, header generated from the ID and the value. Now here for the column header, I have this ID. So if I just gen, run my report, I have the, uh, the complete table transform okay so as you can see you can transform complete table as per your requirement okay uh, where is that alignment tool hmm. so here it will look proper here you can see we are able to transform completely transform our table which is in this format which is coming in this format we are totally able to transform it so for id1 data 1 value is 12 and data 2 value is 43 for data 2 for my id2 data 2 value is data 1 value is 3234 and data 2 value is 344 so this is how you can able to transform that first of all as i told you first we learned how to create the metric that is very simple if the data is in the valid format okay now for whenever you are going for metrics and charts you have to make sure first the data is complete if it is complete then check whether the data is in the complete format for validating the data is in the proper format just be remember this rule everything should be the data which you want to represent on metrics or on the charts now the third thing will come transforming data in this format suitable for the metrics now this is very much important if the data is not in the format you have to transform it i use the cross apply you can use pvet cross apply and pvet also is very good use and also one thing remember about unpivot people say PV, unpivot is reciprocal like reverse of pivot it is totally not true the reason is in pivot you are aggregating the values once you aggregated those values, you cannot have uh, those values split out so the unpivot is just transformation of data in from one form to another form after this transforming of complete table using the same logic everything should be the data i hope i made myself clear with the metrics if you have any question you can just contact me my name is yogesh mahala you can contact me my e by email id this is my phone number you can reach me directly this is my website so all the scripts i taught you today will be on this website uh, i will be leaving the link of the you uh, like scripts under the video on youtube also my skype id is king conspiracy you can contact me anytime stay healthy keep learning